Shalom, yes, your brother. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preach the word and all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israel, like foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of false side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel, i.e. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a month back lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, To Whom Shall We Go? Thou Hast the Words of Eternal Life. I was going to go on some precepts in a uh, little woman. You brothers and your sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, and by the way, um, it's a Sabbath, so uh, Shabbat Shalom to all Yaakim out there. You know, if you come across this video, uh, Shabbat Shalom to you and your families, you know. And, um, you know, uh, going to start off the book of St. John, chapter 6 and verse 66, you know. And um, it reads, Peter's Confession of Faith. It says, uh, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Right, you know, and these were the 70 disciples, and they all went back into the world, you know, because, you know, this is after our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, he had, you know, said a hard saying, you know, in regards of, um, you know, if you eat my flesh, um, just try to go to it real quick. They thought he was talking about cannibalism. You know, we can be verse 55 or 54. Um, well, 53. It said, Then you have a shot sent to them, verily, which means truly, verily I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Which he was really talking about the word, man. You know, uh, because, you know, they thought, you know, the 70 disciples that went back into the world. You know, they thought that he was talking about cannibalism, you know. And we read verse 40, 52, it says, The Jews therefore struggle amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So they were, they thought our Lord Yahweh was literally talking about eating his flesh and, his, and drinking his blood, man. Which he was, you know, talking about spiritually, you know, by way of digesting the word, you see. But, you know, it wasn't meant for them to receive that. A uh, hard saying that that uh, you know that uh, parable, you see, you see that metaphor, but uh, let's go back. So this is why when you read Saint John six and sixty six, it says from that time, many of the disciples went back and walked no more with them. Why? Because they were offended, and they thought Allah Yahweh Shai <laughs> was talking about cannibalism. You know, which really that was a stumbling block upon them to for them not to receive. That are saying that Lord Yahweh Shai said. But uh we read verse sixty seven, it says, Then say Yahweh Shai to the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. That's right, man. You know, so in other words, what are we gonna go back to? We're gonna go back to the world, you know, worshiping, you know, uh and these in today's day, you know, regardless of us, you know, we're gonna go back to the world and worship these pagan holidays and, you know, um, from worshiping Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, you know, being, celebrating our birthdays, you know, no, you know, because ultimately, you know, we understand that we don't control our lot in the faith. It's the Lord, that co it's the Lord that controls our fate at the end of the day. But, you know, what are we going to go back to, man? This world is, is, the scriptures say that the wicked is waxing worse and worse. And we see it, man. You know? So why would we, you know, turn our backs on Yahweh by Shimon Shai because of catching hell in the faith? You see? You know, we have the words of eternal life, man. Which is, you know, believing in Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Believing in the proxies, man. You see? It says, verse 69, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Messiah, the son of the living power. Right, man. So Peter, you know, and the rest of the disciples, um, they believed that Yahweh Shai was the anointed. He was. 
they believed that he was the son of Mosai, and he was, man. You know, of course, excluding um, Judas Iscariot because, you know, uh, Judas Iscariot, he would later, you know, betray the Lord, you know. But uh, uh, verse 7, he says, Yahweh shall answer them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Right. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of twelve. Right. So, you know, so like I was saying, you know, all the, all the disciples, which later became apostles, excluding Judas Iscariot, but they believe in our Lord Yahweh They believe he's the son of Mosai, you know, and they, and they were part of the elect, you know, excluding Judas Iscariot, you know. But a point I want to get out this chapter was, but what Peter said, as I titled my lesson, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, man. So what are we going to go back to, man? You know, because the scriptures speak about drawing back. We read Hebrews 10 and 38. Now the just shall live by faith, and the just are the righteous, the elect. They're going to live by their faith, man. You know, because they're going to have faith, you know, in Yahweh by Shemal to the end. You see? But if any man draw back, meaning withdraw themselves from this truth, you know, forsake Yahweh by Shemal take their hand off the plow, then it says, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Yeah, the Lord doesn't have no pleasure in that individual that drew back, withdrew from the truth. You know? You know, because that's a man, an Israelite man, or a woman, which really is for men. You know, um, that's that's a lack of integrity, man. You know, and the Lord hates when he sees his people worshiping other gods. You know? And, you know, the scriptures say, um, they that forsake the law praise the wicked. Let's, let's get that on. Um, leave us in Proverbs. Law praise wicked. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 28 and verse 4. And it reads, they that forsake the law praise the wicked. Yeah, so... By you forsaking the law, by default, you're forsaking Yahweh by Shemon Shai. You know, so once you do that, then ultimately you praise the wicked. You know, you praise these wicked gods that you worship or these ways of life. You know, so because <clears throat> you got to worship something. People worship something. You know, whether it's idolatry or they're, you know, they're women. They worship people and all, everybody in the earth worships something. You know, so it says they that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Yes, yeah, so the ones that keep the law will be the elect, and they're going to contend, meaning fight against the ones that that that's in the world that's praising the wicked lifestyle. You see, so let's go back to Hebrews ten, and uh, verse uh, thirty eight. I read the end. It says, "My soul shall have no pleasure in him." Yes, yeah, so. You know, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Yeah, so, you know, Lord willing, we party elect, you know, we endure to the end. You know, we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, which means destruction. Because once you withdraw yourself from this truth, you're, you're going to be led into destruction, man. Which means, uh, that's what perdition means, destruction. You know, ultimately, the Lord is going to, uh, you're going to be beaten with many stripes, man. You know, because you are the servant that knew his Lord's will. You know, so by you knowing the Lord's will, and you drew back from the Lord, fought, fell out the truth, <clears throat> then you know the Lord's gonna, um, the Lord's gonna have a great, uh, a special type of judgment for you, man. You know, the Lord can have you die of starvation, or, which is you know dying of famine, which is a, a horrible way to die. You know, or He can have you get mauled to death by these you know beasts, these, uh, whether it be a bear or, or a tiger or a lion. You know, getting bitten by a snake, anything, getting tortured in the female camps by Esau. So, hey, you know, you don't want to be that person, man. You know, it says, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yeah, so, you know, Lord willing, you know, we, we, we endure to the end. Because you, you know, we always got to say Lord willing because we don't know a lot. You know, we don't know our fate. But at the same time of saying Lord willing, we, we got to have confidence you know, we we have to believe that, you know, we are a man of the Lord. You know, 
which goes into confidence, man. Not It's not pride, but we do have to believe at the same time. So, you know, law one, that applies to us, man. It would be saved. Uh, this is Hebrews 6 and verse 4. It says, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. What does it mean uh, when it says once enlightened mean the once enlightened by this truth, knowing the prophecies, you know, knowing the breakdowns of the scriptures, and knowing who you learned them from, you know, which is, you know, from my apostle, Elder Grant Millstone, you know. It says, and, ha and have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. So, you know, you 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 know for for the ones that you know for Yahweh by Messiah left the truth fell out, you know they they tasted of the heavenly gift, man. You know, they tasted to know the prophecies and to 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 know, you know the the the, the precious breakdowns to to know what's to come, man. You know. But they neglected it. It says it were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. So they were, they you know they were made they you know they were made partakers of the Holy Spirit, man. You know, they were once in the light, but now they they they, you know, uh, now they're in gross darkness. You see, and have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again to the repentance. You know, I mean, if they follow truth and they try to come back into the truth, if they fell out the truth, but then, you know, later on, they, they try to come back. It says, seeing they crucified to themselves the son of Yahweh afresh and put him to op to an open shame. Yeah, so that's like you spitting in that little Yahweh shy face, man. You know, that's like, you know, that's like you, you looked at Yahweh shy's death as in, it was in vain. You know, and the Lord not going to come back again to die for you again, man. You know, so by you, you know, leaving the faith, man, that's, you know, you, 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 uh, you, you neglected your how about Shemot Shad, man. You see? And, you know, we, we can't look back, man. No matter how hard it gets in his faith, we got to keep moving forward and just pray to the Lord that he keep his Holy Spirit on us, man. This is a Luke seventeen thirty two. It says, "Remember Lot's wife." Right. So, why do I lure you? How much should I say that? Because, <clears throat> what did Lot's wife do? You know, when the angels had came to warn Lot of the destruction, of the pending destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, <clears throat> Lot and his wife and his daughters, you know, and his son-in-laws, they were all supposed to leave, man. You know, but. Lot's wife, she looked back, as as it said in an account, you know, meaning she looked back, meaning she didn't want to leave that lifestyle, because remember, Lot was rich, you know, the reason why Lot had separated from his uh, uh, his uncle Abraham, because, you know, uh, because uh, 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 their service was, uh, you know, fighting against each other, and they had great substance, so, you know, just from knowing that, you know, uh, uh, Lot was a, a rich man. You know, so Lot's wife, she didn't want to leave that lifestyle. She was comfortable, you know, and she didn't, she, she didn't want to leave. So she ended up looking back, meaning, you know, she didn't want to leave. And then she, she was turned to a pillar of salt. So, you know, remember Lot's wife, meaning don't look back, you know, because if you look back and go back into the world, you will be destroyed, you know, which the elect won't do that in the first place, you know. It says, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Yeah, so uh, Lot's wife, she was seeking to save her life, but she lost it in the, in the latter end of it. You know, so this will be applied in today's day to individuals that when our MOTB be, be made mandated, you know, the RFID chip be made mandated, then those that take it, the Israelite individuals that take it, that know they're not supposed to take it, but due to, you know, uh, being... In uncomfort positions, some some Israelite men gonna take it, you know, and that's gonna be like them trying to save their life, but not trying not to, you know, they don't want to be off the grid. They want to still stay tap, tapped into the society. They don't want to, you know, suffer no losses, you know, their houses, their apartments, their jobs. So by them taking that chip, that's that will be them trying to, you know, save their life, but they gonna lose it, and that applies to men. Israelite men and women, 
you know, which the elect, they're not going to take it. It says, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. And that applies to the elect. Because the elect is going to, remember, they're going to forsake everything. You know, the elect is going to be as pilgrims upon the earth. So, you know, they're going to lose everything all to gain Yahweh Shai. But they're going to preserve their life, man, because the Lord is going to make them prosperous in Jacob's trouble. You know, it's going to make them have, you know, scripture to say that the elect is going to have abundance to be married. It says that in second address. You know, they're going to have food, raiment, shelter. They're going to be well taken care of. Of course, the Lord is going to try as he let. But it's already written that they're going to, they're going to prevail because they have the, the blood of Yahweh Shah to cover them. That atonement, man. You know? So, so yeah, man. So, you know, you know, where the shall we go? Going back to Tyler Lesson, St. John, or I loved it, but you know, whither, sh whither shall we go? For thou hast the words of eternal life, man. So, you know, there is no option. There is no um, plan B. There is only plan A, which is to trust in Yahweh by Shemo Shai and to low want to make it, man. You know? So, and this is and this will be our reward, man. If we do, low want to endure. I have to make sure I get this. Revelation 2 and 25. <laughs> And it reads, uh, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking, but that which you have already hold fast till I come, all right? And what did we have is true, so we have to hold fast to it until a little Yahweh Shah comes back. It says, and he that overcometh and keep my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's what we're fighting for, man. You know, we're fighting to get them crowns, you know, to low willing to overcome. And we have to do the works. And Yahweh Shai, which is teaching the gospel, going out on the highways and byways week in, week out, being diligent, being fervent in spirit, you know, being a good brother, being uh, brotherly, you know, showing charity, you know, and low willing probably elect, the Lord's going to give us power over the heathen nations. Begin on what Esau eat them. Verse 27, and he, that sh and he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father, man. Right. So, you know, we're going to be ruling with a rod of iron, man. And we're going to be beating these heathens whenever they go off. You know, we're going to be beating their heads open like like powder is broken into shivers, man. You know, even as I receive from my father, because, you know, the heavenly father, Yahweh, has to get, get given a little Yahweh size authority to rule the earth. Hence, why it's going to be his kingdom on earth, the kingdom of heaven. An everlasting kingdom that shall not end, you see. And we're going to where Ra, I believe it's a rigorous rule, you know, because we're going to, we're going to, pay, we're going to, we're going to pay these heathens back for what they did to us, man, you know. So for a thousand brutal, it's going to be a thousand uh, brutal slavery for these heathen nations because they're going to build up our kingdom on earth, the kingdom of heaven, man, you know, and it's going to be hard, it's going to be very brutal, it says, uh, yep, with the rod of iron, indicates the sever severest, most rigorous rule, man, so yeah, so we're going to be beating these heathens up, man, for what they did to us, they're going to get paid back, all of them, beginning on with Esau, Edom, but after a thousand years, you know, Esau going to be exterminated, and the other, the other heathen nations, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be back in their own, their lands that they were given in the beginning of time. You know, and we're going to treat them right, man. We're going to treat them. They're going to love the kingdom as well because we're going to be righteous to them. You know, we're not going to be wicked as Esau was to them right now. You know, we're going to judge them according to the lost commandments, man. Uh, Revelation 2 and 28, and I will give him the morning star, meaning morning star is represents being a Luciferian on the right-hand side on the righteous side because Esau is a Luciferian he's a you know a, a, you know he he bears the light and wickedness right now but in, in the kingdom we're going to bear the right we're going to bear the light and righteousness you know which will make us all Luciferians on the right hand side the righteous side so he that have an ear let him hear what the spirit said unto the church that's right so so this is what we're laboring for I can you know, Lord willing, we do it to the end. So all our labors in the Lord that we do is not in vain. And, you know, Lord willing, 
the Lord keep his spirit on us to keep continuing to teach and um, to be in the faith, man. So, you know, Lord willing, I was edified. And uh, until next time, shout out one.